In this lecture, you're going to learn how to create a DHCP scope. We'll be completing this lecture from the ITFDC01 server or any server that has the DHCP server role installed. A DHCP scope is a pool of IP addresses on a specific subnet that can be leased by the DHCP server. Each subnet can only contain one scope with a continuous range of IP addresses. This means that you cannot create a scope ranging from 192.168.0.1 through 25 and another scope for 192.168.0.30-50. The scope would instead need to be 192.168.0.1-50 through and you would need to create an exclusion for the IPs ending with 25-30. through To create a DHCP scope, open the DHCP Management Console by opening Server Manager and selecting Tools DHCP. Click on the DHCP server we want to configure, in this case itfdc01.itflea.com. Right click on IP version 4 or IPv4 and select New Scope. The New Scope wizard will appear. Click Next and specify a scope name and description. This isn't entirely important, it's only for this admin console and no one else is going to see it. For the name, I'm going to enter IP version 4 scope. For the description, I'm going to enter the scope I intend to use, which is 192.168.0.2 through 254. Click Next and move on to the next screen. Enter your start and ending IP addresses. Again, I'm going to use .2 as my start and .254 as my end IP. We're starting with .2 because .1 is our default gateway, and we use 254 because 255 is the network broadcast address. The length and subnet mask are automatically calculated based on the IP range we specified for the scope. We can leave these settings at default. These numbers basically come down to math and are way out of the scope of this course. If you are interested in learning how they are calculated, you should learn about subnetting and subnet masks. In the resources of this lecture, I have included a link to Cisco where it explains subnet masks and subnetting, so check that out if you're interested. Now let's click Next. And on the next screen, we are able to specify any exclusions we may want to create for the scope we entered. I'm going to exclude the IP range 2 through 25 so I can keep them for my servers. Now, this range must fall within the scope that we created, so I couldn't exclude .1 through 25 because I didn't include .1 in my scope. Once you've entered the IP range, click the Add button and click Next. On the next window, we can specify how long we want the DHCP lease to last. As we've covered before, the lease is how long the client can keep the TCP IP settings before it needs to come back to the DHCP server for a new lease or configuration. I'm going to keep the default settings of 8 days and click Next. On the next screen, we have the ability to configure the default gateway, DNS server, and WIN server for this scope. Leave the default option, Yes, I want to configure these options now checked, and click Next. Enter the default gateway, and we're going to use the IP of our VirtualBox host-only network, which is 192.168.0.1, and click Add, and then click Next to continue. The next screen asks us to specify the domain and IP address of our DNS server. This information is automatically populated with the IP address of our DC and DNS server, which is 192.168.0.10. Click Next to continue. The next screen allows us to specify a WIN server. Now, a WIN server works much like a DNS server in that it relates host names with IP addresses, but it uses a different protocol than DNS. We do not have a WIN server because DNS has replaced this out of date feature. Click Next, and now we need to either activate the scope now or do it later. You can do either one you want. I'm going to say no, I will activate the scope later, just so I can show you how to activate it from the DHCP console. Click Next and Finish to complete the wizard. We can now see the new scope that we just created. Notice the red down arrow inside of the icon. This means that the scope has not been activated. We can go ahead and right click on the scope and select Activate. Now go ahead and expand the newly created scope. Here we can see the address pool, address leases, reservations, scope options, and policies. The address pool is the list of available IP addresses as well as all exclusions. The Address Leases screen shows us all the client computers who have received a TCP IP configuration from DHCP. Reservations simply list all the computers that have a DHCP reservation. 
The scope options allows you to change other network settings like default gateway, referred to here as the router, and DNS servers and the domain name. A DHCP policy allows an administrator to assign certain IP address ranges to certain devices like IP phones, desktop computers, printers, or unknown devices. Now that's everything we need to cover for this lecture. Great job getting through this and creating your first DHCP scope, and I will see you in the next lecture.